Continuing coverage tonight of the city's efforts to battle blight. Erie leaders are looking at taking additional measures to help improve something that we've been following, the quality of life ticketing system. Erie News Now, Jameson Hixenbaugh is here with us tonight. Jameson, you talked with the head of code enforcement to find out what those plans entail. What did you find out? Well, even the program launched in 2019 to improve living conditions throughout the city. But ever since, the city has had an issue with getting people in violation to pay their fines. And as it stands right now, code enforcement can enforce a total of 41 quality of life violations, the most common being high grass and excessive garbage. In June, those fines quadrupled from $25 to $100. According to code enforcement manager Andy Zimmerman, his office has handed out 80 tickets since increasing those fines. Zimmerman says there is now talk of creating a housing court in which an out-of-town judge would oversee these cases. Bringing an out-of-town judge, it takes a lot of the burden off our local district justices that have to deal with it. Um, so it could be a win-win situation for us. And the city is also considering having a third-party agency to collect the violation fees. But as of tonight, it is still a work in progress.